What's up everyone? This is your third video on introduction to boxing and striking techniques. I'm your coach, Haley Pierce Ramsdale, and I'm so happy to have you with me on our third and final introductory video. So far, we know our stance, we know how to move, we've got our ones and twos, we've got our hooks, threes and fours. Today we're working on the moneymaker shots, also known as the uppercuts. You might be seeing them come from Mississippi, but today you're going to be shown how to throw them properly without one, hurting yourself, and two, without your opponent even seeing it coming. But before we get into the fives and sixes, it's really important that we review our basics of the ones through fours, just so that way when we get to the rounds later in this video, you'll be ready to rock all the way through the workout. All right, so here we go. I'm not going to review stance today. You already know what to do, and if you don't, Go up top, we'll review them for you. So we get into that stance, left foot forward. Hands are going to be up. The ones and twos are our straight punches, remember? So we'll go one, two. One, two. Remember we focus on contact, hitting with those first two knuckles, getting that full rotation, full extension out, and retract that punch. So on the ones and twos, it'd be like if I was offering you a juice box, and then dumped it out in front of you right at the end. I know I'm not the nicest person around, but at least I know how to throw a punch. So again, ones and twos. Ones and twos. Continue practicing those for as long as you want, and then jump back in and join us on reviewing the threes and fours. From the stance that we've been working on this whole time, we're throwing rotational punches. So we go three and four. Three and four. Remember the key to this one is practicing like we're stirring a big pot of soup. So we stir that bottle, that big pot of soup and come on back. Stacking the wrist in line with all of the muscles and ligatures and bones in here to keep the maximum strength. Threes and fours. Whatever hand is not striking, you know the drill by now, it never leaves the side of your face. Right? We always want to be protected. So those are the one through fours. So now let's talk about one of my favorite strikes, the fives and sixes. These are the uppercuts. These are the ones that you can hit right in the chin and they hurt really bad if you're sparring. Hopefully you're not sparring yet. You're not ready to yet. Focus on the techniques first before you fight somebody, please. <laughs> not a license to fight anyone you want. This is just basic training principles. So before we get started, let's get back into that stance. Hands up nice and nice and high, elbows into the body. We're ready to rock and roll. So the uppercuts involve a little bit more movement out of the upper body, but they come out so fast that you barely see it. So for this video, we're just going to show you kind of slowing that motion down so you can get the technique before we kind of go as fast as we want to. So hands are going to be up nice and high. We're basically going to drop, come up, and punch straight up, kind of like a little bit of a hammer coming up so we kind of drop and come up so we'll go from the feet all the way up so this one involves a pivot yet again not a surprise that's why i've been drilling so hard the past two videos right we pivot notice how this time my hip kind of comes through so you can see it a little bit that gives me a little more leverage to come up underneath the chin or in between the gloves of my opponent so we're coming up and punching out Kind of up and out. So up and back. Up and back. Up and back. So from the side, it's a little easier to see. Um, this one's a little bit more difficult to show on camera, so we're doing the best that we can. You're throwing uppercuts the best that you can. That's all I could ever ask for as your coach today. So again, we pin it, come up. Notice how my arm kind of extends outward a little bit. Obviously, we're not going to be face to face with our opponent. So we're not going to be able to punch straight here. So we're going to have to reach a little bit, but only coming up to our own chin height. We're up and back. Up, pause here, look at the mechanics, and back. Up and back. So that's the five. The six is even more tricky because it's coming from that back leg, that rear leg. So this one might take a little bit more time for you to practice. That's quite all right. Let's just work through it together to start with. So we're in our stance. Again, work from the feet up. We pivot as we come up. We pivot. 
come up. Notice I'm straight and strong all the way through the upper arm. Straight and strong. Hitting with those two knuckles again. Reaching out a little bit so I don't punch myself in the face. I won't look too good either. And good. Try again. Let's try, try it from the side now. Left foot forward, right foot behind. Hands up. Pivot. Out in front. Good. Out in front. If you want to, you can try pivoting that left foot a little bit to get a little bit more leverage. But just for now, focus on pivoting that right foot to get a good amount of power. Up. And out. Pause here. Notice, strong in the fist, strong wrist. Coming up and out so I don't punch myself in the face. And coming back. Out and back. So those are the fives and sixes. So you know the drill by now. We've got our new punches for this video. Now it's time to add a little bit more challenge to your rounds for this week. Same format. Three minute round. We'll do 30 seconds of punching, 30 seconds of a strength exercise, and we'll just alternate that for three minutes. One minute of rest in between rounds. Repeat it as many times as you're feeling comfortable today. Let us know how it goes. So let's get it started. In that stance, that bell goes off, your timer starts, whatever the case may be. We're throwing one, two, five, two. So one, two, five, two, one, two, five, two, one, two, five, two. Okay, so that's a little bit more of a difficult combination to start slow and then start putting them together so that they move and flow a little bit faster. 30 seconds of punching is done. This time we're doing bodyweight squats. This time I encourage you to have a weight with you if you haven't been doing so already. Feel free to make that weight a little bit more heavy if you're feeling it today. Then we're coming back to striking. So this time we're throwing a one, six, three. One, six, three. So that's a jab, rear uppercut, lead hook. One, six, three. Again, start slow with the one, six, three, and then get faster as you feel comfortable. This time we're going to add a little bit more of a challenge with cardio exercises. So we're doing a speed burpee for the next 30 seconds. Various modifications for this, but I'll show you the basic technique. Hands are going to go down to the floor. Feet are going to kick out into a high plank position. Stand up nice and tall. So hands down, feet back, stand up nice and tall. So you're going to do those for 30 seconds. No, it seems like a lot. So you're up for the challenge before we get into our last 30 seconds of striking. We're just going to put all the numbers together. Make it nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Feeling as fast as you want to throw them, slow as you want to throw them. If you're hitting the bag, that's awesome. If you're punching in the air, that's also awesome. But we're just practicing all six of the punches. So we keep going. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Before our last 30 seconds of this round, we're doing the speed burpees again. I'm not gonna show it to you again because your girl is tired already, <laughs> but I know you can do it. So that is our introduction to striking. You've learned movement. You've learned stance. You've learned the first six punches, so you're ready to rock and roll. Feel free to add any kind of punches or techniques to the rounds that you create for yourself, be creative, give yourself a little bit of challenge, and have fun.